Namaskaram. Welcome to the course Basics of Electronics. In this video, we will be discussing on all you need to know about inductors in electronic industry. First, I am going to talk about the what is inductor and why it is used in electronic industry. Second, I will be talking on the applications of inductors in electronic industry. Third, we will be discussing on the three different applications with examples in electronic industry. Fourth one, which is the most important, I'll be showing you how to calculate the inductance value and also the saturation current calculation. Last but not the least, we will be discussing on the types of inductors and how to select one for your project. So let's start. What is an inductor and why it is used in electronic industry? Inductor is a passive electronic component which is used for storing energy in the form of magnetic field. Typically, inductors are made up of a coil of wire which is wound around a core material such as iron or maybe ferrite. The SI unit of this inductance is Henry's. Based on the value, we will be adding a prefix to it such as micro Henry, milli Henry or nano Henry etc. Inductors are more often used in high frequency filters or low frequency filters and also they are widely used in converters such as AC to DC converter or DC to DC converters. Inductors are also used in radio frequency circuits such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Zigbee kind of a wireless devices because of their certain properties. There are thousands of reasons why inductors are used in electronic industry. We'll let you know about them in the coming section of this video. The engineering applications of inductors. There are 100 reasons or 100 ways these inductors are used in electronic industry. Most commonly in filter circuits, power supplies, high power electronic circuits, drivers and motors. Not to mention in sensor boards, these inductors are playing a vital role in special conditions. If we combine these inductors with the capacitors and certain circuits, they are very good for filtering out the specific noise with a certain characteristic. In case of a DC-DC power supplies, these inductors are used along with capacitors to filter out specific signal noise. In case of a constant current supply design such as a drivers, motor controllers or maybe a various application in electronic industry, these inductors are being a vital role. Because of inductive reactance principle, these inductors help us to maintain a constant current at the load level, irrespective of the input current at a shorter period of time. When we are talking about the wireless communication such as Bluetooth, Zigbee, Wi-Fi, such all popular protocols, inductor play a vital role in them. To maintain a certain frequency or tuning the circuit for receiving a signal or even for the transmittance of signal, inductance plays a vital role. They are also called a tuning circuit in radio system in older days. If we look at the all gadgets around us including a camera or laptop or computers or any smart devices, we will identify at least one or two inductors within them. So inductors are widely used in industrial applications. Three examples of inductors application. First one is DC to DC converters. We all know that DC to DC converters need to be designed with a constant current and constant voltage supply. For achieving a constant current at the load level, these inductors are used. Due to reactive inductance property of an inductor, it will oppose the quick change in current flowing through that inductor, which helps us to maintain a constant current at the load level. Inductive reactance property of this inductor is directly proportional to the inductance value and its saturation current. Using these two parameters, we can literally control how to maintain the current at the load level. This is how the DC to DC conversion module looks like and also the image for your reference. Second example is constant current drivers. Motor controllers and drivers are the widely used application in industry with respect to inductors. One classic example for this is electric vehicles and another one would be LED signboards. Again, here also inductors are meant for constant current supply at the load level. I hope you remember my previous video which is talking about the control of a speed of a motor by using the resistance principle. 
Again, in this case, we will be using the inductor for controlling the speed of a motor or maybe a brightness of a LED, which is again done by using a PWM signal sending through a driver circuit for these inductors. As I already mentioned, inductive reactance is the property of an inductor which is helpful for controlling the speed of a motor or maybe a brightness of a LED. Third important application would be uh, sensors and actuators. You name any embedded system or IoT device in electronic industry, there is always possibility that there should be at least one sensor or one actuator in the entire system. And these sensors and actuators are maybe using an inductor for their specific reason. For example, relays. We all know that relays are operated with the electromagnetic principle. And the electromagnetism is generated by using the inductance principle within them. Reed switch are the different kind of a sensors which are used for identifying the position of magnetic field in that particular circuit. In case of a relays or in case of a reed switch, inductance is the principle by which we are operating those particular components. How to calculate inductance value and its saturation current? Again, there are hundreds of parameters to be considered while selecting a specific inductor for your project. However, these four factors are going to be most important one. First one is what type of a core material or the size of the core material that you are using. And what is the diameter of the coil that you are wounding around it. And what is the spacing between one turn to another turn of that particular coil. The fourth one is what are the number of turns you are using for creating an inductor for yourself. Now let us consider a basic example and then try to calculate inductance value. For sake of simplicity, we will be considering a specific application with a, these design parameters such as a switching frequency of 150 kilohertz, V in minimum as a 3 volt, V in maximum as a 40 volt, V out minimum as 1.5 volt and V out maximum as 35 volt and output current being from 0.1 ampere to 3 ampere at the range. Based on these parameters, we have to calculate two basic information here. First one is a total period which is denoted by T and another one is minimum duty ratio which is denoted as D min. This is how the calculation looks like and it is pretty straightforward with formulas. Now it is time for calculating the inductance value which is nothing but having a formula as inductance is equal to V out into T divided by I out into D min. As we know V out is 35 volt that we are aiming for and then we will be having a T as 6.67 microsecond and then we will be having a I out at maximum of 3 ampere and then a duty ratio as 0.875. With this all value with a basic calculation we will end up at 88.93 micro henrys. Now for this inductor we will calculate the saturation current. What is saturation current? Saturation current is the maximum amount of current that is already stored in the core material beyond which there is no possibility of storing a magnetic field. For this again we need to do a one basic calculation that is all about delta i which is a formula straightforward and also with respect to all the previous information we will be ending up at 0.328 ampere as a delta i. Now we will calculate the i sat which is nothing but a saturation current which equals to i out maximum plus delta i divided by 2. If you put all the values into them then we will be ending up with 3.164 ampere as a saturation current. However, with a 25% of factor of safety, we will be ended up with a 4 ampere approximately. This is how the inductance value will be calculated in industrial applications along with its saturation current. Types of inductors and how to select one for your project. There are majorly 6 types of inductors in industry. First one is air core inductor, which is nothing but wounding a wire of coil on the any plastic material and then just removing that particular plastic material. It's like uh, air in between. These air core material or air core inductors are used for high frequency filtering application. Second one is iron core inductor. Here we are using iron material as a core that's why it is so called iron core inductor and these are used for low frequency filtering application. Third one is a ferrite core inductor where we will be using a ferrite as a core material and wounding a copper wire on that. These are again used for high frequency filter circuits especially in SMPS. 
Fourth one is a toroidal inductors, which again having a toroid as their core material. These are widely used in power electronics. Fifth one is flat wire inductors. These inductors are used in high current and high power electronics in a special condition. Last but not the least, which is all about multi-layer inductors. These are a special purpose inductors and very costly in industrial application because they are used in high density board with a reduced size application. Now let's talk about how to select an inductor for your application. There are several parameters to be considered while selecting inductance because as I already said, it is a very sensitive part of the design work and very specific skill which has to be acquired by design engineers if they are interested to work in core electronics field. Inductance value, maximum current, frequency range, through hole or SMD form factor, saturation current, temperature range, quality factor, DC resistance and tolerance. These are the several important factors to be considered while you are selecting an inductor for your project. Of course, some of them are very easy to calculate and very easy to identify and some of them are very difficult to identify. However, with the current technology and information available on the internet, it is not going to be very difficult for you to identify these parameters. A very simple shortcut I would like to recommend you to select an inductor is, whenever you are designing some circuit, you will be having ICs as a center of them. And if you look at the data sheet of those ICs, there will be something called a typical application circuit. And in case of a typical application circuit, there is a recommended inductor with a part number and a specific value mentioned. In that case, you need not to worry about the calculation of inductors or any saturation current. However, you will be identifying the specific part number on that data sheet, but you will not be experiencing how to calculate the inductance value and select specific for you. Once before purchasing that particular part, do a small survey or small calculation from your side just to verify or just to understand the process of how they selected or recommended that particular inductor in that typical application circuit. All right, this is all about inductors in electronic industry. I hope you liked it and you understood the formula that we discussed here. See you again in the next video. Namaskaram.